force yourself to do the hard things instead of taking the easy route. with any path in life besides women and dating, doing the easy thing, taking the easy route, finding the easy way out is not going to get you as far as you think it will. The people you look at and you say, man, I wish I was like that. I wish I had what they had. I wish I was doing what they're doing. I wish my life was the way their life is. You don't see the hard work they've had to do behind the scenes. You don't see the hours and hours and hours and hours of practice and training and reflecting that they do to reach the current level. You think that, well, you know, I can just copy them or I can just listen to what they say and do it and I'll be just like them. And it doesn't work like that. You have to be willing to do the hard things. So if you want to get better with women and dating, you have to be willing to screw up with women over and over and over. You can't be afraid of screwing up. You can't be afraid of, you know, looking like an idiot. It's part of the process. It's part of the path. Every guy who is pretty good with women has stories of how they've screwed up and made mistakes and look like idiots. You want to get better at walking up and talking to women you don't know? You have to practice. It's hard. It's not easy. It's scary. You have to walk up to women you don't know and say hi and talk to them and start a conversation. And every time you do it, you're going to get a little bit better and a little bit better and a little bit better each time. But you have to get out of your comfort zone. You have to quit acting like a wuss and you just have to do it. It's hard. Force yourself to do the hard things if you wanna get better. In order for anything to become easier, you have to force yourself to do it and it's gonna be hard at first. But the more you do it, the easier it will become. If you wanna get better at asking for phone numbers, then start asking women for their phone numbers on a regular basis. Yeah, some of them are going to tell you no. Some of them are going to say they have a boyfriend. Some of them are going to say, no, thank you. I don't want to give you my number. It's okay. It's part of the process. It happens. doesn't matter who you are, or what you look like. It's going to happen to you eventually. And you might as well just get used to it and get over it and move on with the mindset of I've done the work and I'm getting better at this. Force yourself to do the hard things. Read the books. Yeah, it's boring and it takes time, but it's worth it. Read the articles. It's boring and it takes time, but it's worth it. Watch the videos. It's boring. It takes time, but it's worth it. Do the things that other men aren't willing to do if you want the success other men don't have. And that's what it boils down to. The men who have the success you don't have are willing to do the things you aren't doing. They're willing to do the things you aren't willing to do. The men who have the success go out of their way to do the things that they know for a fact other guys aren't doing. That 90 to 99% of men aren't doing. If you want to have the success with women that 90 to 99% of men aren't having, you have to be willing to do what 90 to 99% of men won't do. You have to stay home and study sometimes. You have to invest time into learning and practicing whatever it is you want to get better at. It's hard. It sucks. I know. But you have to do it. In order to get better with women and dating, force yourself to do the hard things that most men aren't willing to do.